Hey, what's going on guys? Chase here with a video bass lesson. Today I'm gonna to be talking about using triads to get color in your solos. And what do I mean by color? I'm talking about adding um, upper extensions and playing sort of like nines, sevens, thirteens, sharp elevens. Um, so when I first started soloing and playing jazz, um, I would solo in a similar way to my bass lines. I would kind of start on the root and play fifths, fourths, uh, like really low. And so for me to get away from that, I basically would do a lot of practice where I would try to avoid the root. And so to do that, I would just start on different notes. And I basically sort of would play around these triads that I really like for certain chords. And so I kind of, even today, think about, you know, some of these chords like this, like with these triads. So the first chord is a minor chord. So I've got, got a G minor nine going right here on a string patch. And um, so with this chord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about a major triad starting off the flat three. So in this case, that's gonna be a B flat major triad. And basically what this gives me is it starts me on the three, Seven, nine, eleven, and that's really what we want. Um, just a lot of color, really outlining the chord. So basically, yeah, you can play around with this triad. Play around with this triad, um, and basically, yeah, outline the chord to your best of your ability. Um, even use it as like a phrase starter. So one, you'll hear this in my playing a lot, in solos, um, in bass lines, I do this a lot. And then basically once I do that, I can play like a bunch of different ending responses to that first phrase. It's kind of just something in my muscle memory that maybe if I'm stuck or I'm slowing on a really fast tune, I'll just start doing that. Chord, I'm gonna give you uh, just a major seven sharp eleven. Um, chord in jazz a lot. Um, so for this, I've got a G major seven sharp eleven. I'm, just, I'm doing a minor triad half step down. So even this, you can apply like these triads to other, you know, you can all twelve keys. And I encourage you to go through and do that. So with this, I'm thinking half step down minor triad. What this gives you is the seven, nine, three, sharp eleven. Or even if you don't want to add in three, you just get seven, nine, sharp eleven. It's kind of a very pentatonic, pentatonic -y sound. Almost like kind of like a chicoria type thing, but yeah, it works. It's a, it's probably not one of my favorite of all these these three triads I'm gonna give you, but it does help me because you know when I am playing a lot of major seven chords, I do kind of think skip. Like now at this point in my playing, I think you know like scattered. Um, so the next. Um, Chord quality I'm gonna do is dominant. So with the dominant chord, in this specific example I'm gonna show you, um, in jazz standards there's a common thing. It's called like I've been told it's called uh, like going around the horn, which is where you kind of sit on a dominant two, and then you two, five, one, um, and when you're sitting on that dominant two, a cool color to add. Um, is make it a dominant sharp 11. So a lot of piano players I know just even instinctively do this, like if it's not in the chart, it's not written, they'll just do it on their own. Um, and even if you're playing and you're the soloist, and the piano, piano player is not even outlining that, you can suggest that by playing sort of 
what I'm about to show you. So if you're playing, let's say this specific example is G7, you can go a whole step up and do a major triad a whole step up. And so a major triad a whole step up is gonna give you, so here, let's play the chord. It's gonna give you nine, nine sharp 11, 13, one. And then if I want, I can also add it. Let's say I wanna add, I can add the two of the triad, which ends up being the third of G7 chord. So then, and then if I even wanna add something else to this, I can add, um, go add, if I sit on this E, I can add the seven of the chord, of the G7, which is kind of like a flat six of the, of this triad. Um, yeah, so like a little quick example. Yeah, so it really gives you that specific sharp 11 sound. Um, so yeah, those were three different types of triads you can use um, over those chord qualities. So with the minor, it's a major triad off the third with the major seven sharp 11. It's a minor triad down a half step. And with this dominant, if you want to make a sharp 11 chord, you're playing a major triad a whole step up. And so the, yeah, these were just three examples um, of using sort of these triads to get color. And when you're playing, you know, yeah, you can think scalarly, but sometimes I just think, hey, I know I wanna get that sharp 11 sound right there. Like if I'm playing over that dominant chord, I know I wanna really communicate that. So I'll just think, try it maybe, try it, major try to hold stuff up and just, you know, play something like that. Um, yeah, so that was a, the lesson, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see, you know, you have an idea, you wanna see a lesson, you know, whether it be bass, music theory, or music production, just let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.